Alright, we're ready. Hey everybody. <laughs> hey, welcome back. Another Happy three Thursday. question Thursday. Yeah, here keep... with Tay and Gray. That's right, T and G. Also known as Tay. Or G and T, if you're a gin and tonic fan. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, welcome back again. Thanks for the support and the viewership. And uh, the AC is still on and we're still kicked That's out right. of the interview room. That's so. right. Deal with the noise, people. It's okay. We're worth it. <laughs> it's a working warehouse. That's right. First question of the day du jour is from Maggie Glassman. I recently visited Black Dog from Michigan, and I loved Thanks. it. I can't wait to come back again. On my way inside, I noticed the stone house next door to your warehouse. What is that place? Good question. So that is a rad old house. It was built by a stonemason uh, that from Italy, and it was built in 1911, um, and it was actually built before this building was so yeah. uh, i guess they sold it to the developers of the, the what was then a laundry, laundry or something like that but um we love it it's actually in really good shape the foundation's all there the walls are in great shape the interior's all there and that's actually where we used to uh, film the interviews mm -hmm. in the first three seasons or something like that yeah so, yeah the house itself so he was a stonemason and he's kind of famous for um a lot of the stone structures around roanoke and even some of the br the bridges mm -hmm. and apparently he did the post office that used to be downtown it was demolished like many years ago but um some of the stone in the house here was used from stone around that he had cut or what i mean so it's like mm -hmm. it's like almost like a salvaged house too yeah if you think about it like that um, but we, um, Mike and Robert, years ago unearthed a gargoyle in the backyard that Mr. Grosso is his name, the, the stonemason who lived there, who we think maybe was just like a, a never used, maybe there was like a little bit of an imperfection about it. And so he threw it in the backyard and it got buried. And it was a practice. Well, yeah, maybe a practice. Yeah, we'll yeah. never really know the true story, but we still have it here sitting out front. If you've ever been to our shop um, in front of this deck here, kind of where our fountain is. So you can yeah. see that when you come in. Yep. So. It's a cool house. It's got a lot of history. And um, yeah, we've got um, a couple pictures from one of his nieces that has come to visit us to see the place. Oh, um, cool. Yeah, she brought some family photos of him and them and right the house is in the background. So it's, yeah, it's a really special little piece of history about our property here. We would love for somebody who wants to do a brewery or a bed and breakfast or a restaurant. Yeah. Come talk to us about or if you have an idea. Options. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> what should we do with it? <laughs> yeah. Let us know. Let us know what you think if you've seen it. All right. Number I'll take two, the Tay. next one. Let's see. This one's from Mark Brenton. And it says, uh, I met Mike and Tay at an event in Roanoke and couldn't believe how tall they were. Many can't. And on the show, you all look about the same height. How tall are you? Well, I am 6'8", um, if I'm standing up straight. And I hit my head on all kinds of things. Yeah, that sounds... I pay for it. <laughs> like it. <laughs> um, and then from there, I think your dad's the next, so he's probably 6'3". Six, he's 6'2". Six, uh, Robert's probably 6'1". Six 6'1". Six six I'm 6'5". Yeah. I think Ted's 5'11". Ted, Ted might be the shortest. Ted one. says he's like... He's so, this is funny. When they film uh, like uh, the morning meetings or whatever, and they we're often standing together. pay attention to the ground, and if there's a low spot, they put me in it. And if there's a high spot, they put me or Ted in it. Yeah, <laughs> Ted's always because we're the short ones at six feet. Like, <laughs> yeah, you guys are so short. <laughs> Get some heels on or something. So Good bizarre. Um, yeah, 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 but that's uh, the camera, the way they film it, that just makes us all look uh, normal sized and or about the same size. And <laughs> we are not. <laughs> that is that is by far the biggest question I get. Or comment when you. people come in like, wow, you're a lot taller than you are on TV. Right, so. right. Yeah, me too, it's honestly. It's all right, though, man. I, I'm not afraid of being tall. I love it. Yeah. Cheers to that. Yeah. Okay, last one for the day. Lauren Brown. I have this dream table in mind for my sitting room, but I can't find it anywhere. How do I go about getting Black Dog to create this for me? That's a great question. Oh, that is and, a good question. Um, that is why we're here. We have been building custom furniture for... Uh, you know, upwards of 10 years now in our shop, and we have some amazing craftsmen and some killer abilities. We have metal abilities, wood abilities, our finishing is great. So we can take, uh, we've never said no, really, which uh, isn't always a good idea, but <laughs> we, can, we can build anything under the sun. And um, so come, come to the shop or, or send us some pictures yeah. of, of what you're thinking about, what kind of style you wanna go for. Go for and. Uh, We'll make contact between you and Jeff Ellis, our custom furniture designer in-house, and 
between him and myself and our shop foreman Patrick Hawks will we'll make it happen we'll make it happen for you step one either come in call in or email in we'll get in touch with you that's right we like cool. building all kinds of stuff so all right well that's a good uh, that's a pretty good Thursday for me how about that's you a good one. yeah I've had enough yeah you ready I think we need a break <laughs> yeah, that's it. until Thanks, next week thank you guys see ya